Hello, car flock. Welcome you to the channel. Before I jump into everything, I just want you guys to smash that like button, hit the notification bell so you know exactly when I post, and also please subscribe and share this video because this one's gonna be real educational for the G8 GT owners for the 2008 and 2009, the only models that they ever made. And this one actually goes towards the G8 GT. Now the biggest issue that we have run into is that they say if your AC belt slips off, it's due to the dampener or it's due to having over four or over 500 horsepower. Well, this car right here only has about 400 horsepower with my modifications added onto it and my belt still slips. The only solution that GM came down to was that you have to buy the Holden AC heavy duty bracket. That's 300 bucks. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, you do not need it. And I fixed mine for only $200. Now I do have to throw credit to a guy that actually helped me out. His name is David. I'm not gonna give his last name, but it was the video on my channel, the owner of the Corvette, the yellow Corvette. Very intelligent man. He looked at the car and solved it in a matter of seconds. This goes all to him. So let's jump into it. So. This right here is the G8 GT model, okay? The L76, AKA LS2. We have run into an issue that the AC belt on here slips off. Your AC belt goes all the way in the back and it comes around just like this, okay? I gotta clean all this up, but shout out to my wife. She gave me that. That banner is pretty dope. So, this particular piece that you guys have seen you guys know that your belt runs on the back of this. So the issue I found, the reason why these belts come off so easily, is that once this belt sits on the back of it, it actually slips. As you can see, there's no guards, nothing at all. What David and I have come up with is you use a pulley that has a guard on it to work and kind of sit in place. So we did that. I, my friend, ordered a pulley, the same exact pulley that sits up here, and I do have the part number that I'll list as well. I put this exact same pulley down here. So instead of the belt slipping, it actually is held between these two guards. Meaning, it's not smooth, it doesn't slip off, it, act, it actually sits in place. This part, is 2311015 at AutoZone. I put the belt on, I got on the car, I really got on the car, made some sharp turns as quick as I could. I did everything I could. This thing stays on. Actually, this is the factory AC belt as well. So I didn't have to, I did not have to change sizes. I did not have to change anything else about it. The only thing I changed was the pulley. Now I'm gonna put up a diagram now so you can kind of see exactly where I'm talking about. To sum it up here, place this pulley in place of this pulley, problem solved. So once again, that part was from AutoZone. It was $22. I replaced the same pulley. It may not seem like it's gonna fit. It does, fits perfectly. The belt does not stretch. It gives enough, enough tension. It is perfect. And it's also bigger. That pulley is actually bigger than this one as well. So it actually gives even more attention to that belt. Again, if I'm using the wrong terminology, don't kill me. This video is only to help those who have run into the same issue I have. My issue is my belt comes off every single time. I've actually been riding around without AC for the past couple months. And here in Missouri, it is blazing hot. So after I figured that out, I tried it out. This, I have AC now. Like it's like a brand new car to me. If this video helps you, or if you have any more questions, please message me. Besides that guys, this video, I'm done. I hope this video helps somebody because it definitely helped me. Again, David, I thank you so much for giving me that idea. But besides that, you guys have a safe fourth and be looking out for more videos.